Right guys, welcome to Airbus Gaming HD. So we're doing Nightfall today on Hardcourt. We're going to be doing Mayday as well, but um, obviously we want to get Nightfall done first because uh, it's only logical. So as I said, we're doing it on Hardcourt. We aren't running any relics for this one because to be honest, we hadn't really done it much. So we didn't want to make it too difficult. And obviously we weren't sure whether we were going to do it or not anyway. So, you know, we just wanted to just run it on standard at first. You could probably run this pistols only with no problem. You could put mortal on as well with no problem. I don't know how it'd be with the new relics that they've just brought out. If I, in all honesty, I haven't played much with those relics, so I couldn't tell you really how likely you'd be able to do it with them. Uh, so, what we're doing here is we're just having a little scout about, trying to find a flare, maybe a hypno knife for one of those guys, so they can uh, hypno knife a rhino. So, just have a little look at these boxes. And this is going to be similar to the last ghost video that, well at least the last one that I edited anyway. So it'll just be the challenge is shown and then, you know, once the challenge is done, it's just going to cut to um, the next one so it, so that it doesn't take too long. Uh, so that's how it's going to be running. Obviously it is nice to cut as much as you can out because it is so long and, uh, you know, sometimes it just isn't that much to really to really say about the game. But, you know, with the challenges, I can at least talk through how we did the individual challenges. And we get quite a few difficult ones, to be honest, in this. We did all the challenges in this except for one. The only challenge we didn't do was 25 kills with an LMG. And it seems a bit silly, but we're in the second area. And, you know, we just couldn't find an LMG to pick up to actually do the challenge. So we did all the challenges except for that one, which is a shame, really, because we got some much harder ones that we actually managed to complete. So once the challenge gets underway, we'll get going. So, as you guys probably know, taking out certain hives in front of doors enables you to get inside the room, open lockers, find different stuff. So that always helps. This challenge is similar to any one you'd get on point of contact, you know, to keep your shot accuracy above 50%. So, you know, it's not too difficult. It's just a case of shooting them once and then just knifing, really. If you used a magnum, then you could probably shoot a lot more often, you know, because you can be more accurate with that. But I think we're all using the automatic pistol, so, you know, that's not going to go down too well if we shoot and miss. So this guy's running away. So we get on this the breeder challenge to kill it within, I think it's 90 seconds. We do that. Uh, the most annoying one for that is obviously when you have to destroy the eggs because, you know, it takes probably twice as long because you have to wait till the eggs come, kill them and then kill the kill a breeder. So some of them, like I say, some of the challenges are really easy and we, we do get some really difficult ones. One of the most difficult ones we get on this is not to take damage from the exploding seeker aliens, which is probably one of the most difficult ones because they're so quick and there's so many of them at the point we got it. You know, we just had to run around and, and try as best to stay alive. So just more knife in here, not a lot to really say here at the start. Like I say, with, with Hardcore, the way that, that we're running this is I'm going to be working on team boosters. Uh, old school Campbell's going to be working on armor. Wilson's going to be working on ammo as well as feral instincts. So we've we've got all the uh, we've got all the ingredients. So this one really simple as well. Getting the kills with the pistol. You know, there should be no problems when you're getting these sorts of charges early on. And as as you know, on hardcore, it's vital that you get the challenges done because if you don't, you're going to get no skill points. And if you get no skill points, you're not going to get any upgrades. No upgrades, you know, you're not going to be doing very well. I mean, it's probably still doable, but you know, without your upgrades, you're going to have a real hard time. So, as we said in the point of contact one, we go about it in a very particular way. What we do is we work on our individual uh, upgrades to get them fully maxed out. So, for example, my first few points will go to make my team booster fully maxed out. Um, old school Campbell's first points will go on his armor. So, at the earliest possible time, you'll have full armor, full ammo, and full you know team boosters or whatever. So that's always helpful. You know, if, if, if everyone just goes about their skills willy nilly. You end up with some people overlapping ammo, you know, two people doing armor, you know, it's just not going to work out effectively. So, we've moved on to the next one. I've managed to pick up a shotgun for this. I will end up putting a muzzle brake, a red dart, and a grip on that. 
which makes that you know even more effective. And you know, I like to choose that or the bulldog. To be fair, ten scouts of melee damage is the challenge, and it's not very difficult at all. You know, especially if you chuck down the team boosters, you knife quicker, and you know, this challenge will be done in no time. So just chasing down these guys, give him a knife, and. There we go, that's that done. Okay, the next challenge, don't take any damage from the Exploding Seeker. So this is the one I was talking about. This one can be really difficult. So, you know, having that shield on your back helps, because that'll stop you getting any damage if they're behind you. So always turn your back on them if you do actually see any. The way I'm going about this is I'm just going to be trying to go to the opposite end of where they're, they're falling, and then, you know, you should be able to get them all sort of coming at you in a group. I think Wilson and Campbell are doing a similar thing, but over the other corner of the map. You don't all want to be too close together either, because you know you're probably going to block each other's vision and stuff like that. So there's there's many ways you can go about this. You could probably all go inside that container there and all just sort of sit in there with an IMS in front of it, or all just shoot out or something. You could probably do something like that, but you know we're just doing it in quite a standard way. Drop that uh, soft land there. I wasn't very lucky with that, but you can get quite lucky with it. See, I dropped that on where the uh, seekers were supposed to come out. Drop another one there. So that should have blown all those seekers away that were coming out of those. And, you know, them soft lambs aren't very effective on this map, except for the, at this point, you know, they're good for the next... They're not very good for the next area, sorry, should I say. But they're quite good for this area. I mean, they're actually completely useless when you're indoors, to be fair. As you'd, as you'd imagine. So, like I say, there's a couple coming under the bridge, so what I'd have done there is I'd have called out to to the team that the, some of them are coming under the bridge and Campbell or Will would have taken them out. It's not, like I say, sometimes it's good to just communicate where they are, even if you think you can kill them, because obviously if you do happen to miss something, you don't want them to run up and jump on your friend, you know, just because you miss a shot or whatever. They always call them out. So we've got the traps on as well, that's helping. You know, once they're on fire or once you've got this incendiary ammo or whatever, you know, you only take like a shot or two and they'll explode over time. So this is nearly done. Let's just kind of go up here now just to make sure absolutely safe. Not, not too worried about the kills, just more worried about getting away and that's that challenge done. So the next challenge is destroy the breeder in 90 seconds. So for this one it's really quite simple. Obviously he's shooting there, so... Don't want him to get me. I'm just going to stand here. I'm just going to unleash a hell of a load of shotgun bullets. Just keep on shooting at him. When he does his, you know, move set, you just move to the side and just keep, you know, just keep defending yourself that way. And it's pretty simple to be honest. This first phase of the boss, not hard at all. This is the most annoying part where he puts that spit on the ground. That can do quite a bit of damage to you. Just move out of the way of that. I think Campbell's got an LMG at this point as well, so he's just tearing into it. And I'm just waiting for that spit to go, but it's already over anyway. So the next one is stay in the circle and kill 20 aliens. Now that circle can appear in a few different places. Uh, you know, I'd rather it be up against the drill than here, to be honest, because then you can have like two IMSs and one on the drill and one actually in the circle. But it doesn't matter too much. We do end up sort of, you know, vacating the circle and coming back into it a few times. And that rhino just got annihilated with a couple of semtexes and then he got hypno knifed, so a bit of a waste of semtexes there. It would have been quite a good kill if he didn't hypno knife it. So, we're just putting all of his uh, upgrades, all of his uh, items and pickups in the middle of the circle so we can all just stand there, pick them up, and you know, do whatever we need to do. I'll be putting that fire trap on as well. So, all we're really doing here is just, as I say, just sort of hovering around the circle. When there's a group of them running into the circle, kill them. You know, we're not sort of standing in there the whole time. If you do that, they sort of converge in your location and you can get overrun. Especially with the spit on the ground as well, it can be really annoying. I'm running medic, so, you know, once I've upgraded that enough, I, I shouldn't take any damage from the spit on the ground or the gas clouds, so that should uh, help me. I haven't got to the mini though, as you can see, when all that spit goes into the circle, it's not good. So we've got plenty of time, we're not worrying about it really, you know, we've got, you know, we don't need too many kills. I'm just going to hover it around it now and just try and get a few to come in. 
So this should get us a few kills now with this uh, meteor coming down. Throw some ammo down there for the team. No, boosters for the team there, sorry. And then just shoot them as they come out. Couple more. And this is done. Couple seekers. And that should be it. There we go. And then just we're just gonna obviously protect the drill and all that. So this one is don't use any abilities. So I've just thrown down the team boosters early on. I couldn't obviously refresh my shield unfortunately, but it shouldn't matter too much. I probably should have got an IMS down as well, but I didn't think I had time, I didn't want to waste the challenge. Because we were obviously going to do this and try and complete all the challenges. And you'll see obviously when we get the challenge of the LMGs that um you know, we were in no position to get an LMG. It was it was quite a strange one. Uh, the uh, the LMGs are obviously in this area, and uh, there probably is an LMG. If you want to leave in the comments or whatever, where the LMGs are in the next area, we were normally too busy killing stuff to look for LMGs. But you know, we had a quick little scout about, couldn't find one. It just had to get left, unfortunately. But obviously, you guys will know how to do you know how to do the LMG challenge. It's not difficult. Most of the difficult challenges we get done in this. So just hopping around here, just shooting away. It's not, like I say, it's not a difficult challenge this as long as you keep moving. If you've already got a shield on your back, much more easier. You just don't want that to go really because you won't be able to replace it. And try and make sure you've got some ammo already. What what happened was is um, Campbell threw down, uh, Wilson threw down the ammo before the actual, the abilities kicked in, the actual challenge kicked in. So obviously we could just shoot away and then pick that up when we wanted, so we got full ammo. So quite easy really. Unfortunately I can't throw down any more boosters, but I will be able to in three more seconds, but the challenge will be done then, so quite easy this one. So this one, kill 25 aliens with assault rifles. Now I've already got my shotgun and I've already got you know an upgrade or two on this on my shotgun, so I don't really fancy getting rid of it. So Wilson's actually doing this. Um so yeah you know there isn't much of doing the challenge from my perspective but I'm just sort of running around and sort of trying to shoot the larger aliens like the scorpions and the phantoms and the rhinos and letting you know letting Wilson take out the the scouts and stuff to get their challenge done obviously so again these these phantoms are quite strange little things you know as long as you you know can be quite accurate you can kill them quite fast but you know, if you let them get on top of you and you let them chase you down, they'll take away your shield in a couple of seconds, and you know you'll probably end up going down. So you've got to take them out ASAP. And I, I think that trap there that I just put on, and how close it is to that weapon, I think that's really silly of the developers to do that because I've actually bought the weapon instead of putting the trap on a few times. I think they should have put the weapon the other side of the box, in my opinion. But that's just being picky but I mean I, I have done it literally a couple of times I've gone and tried to put the trap on and end up buying the vector and I've been really pissed off at him so Wilson's doing a good job he's halfway through he's got halfway halfway through the challenge halfway through the drill you know he's, he's well on target for doing it you know I can obviously weaken some of them from a distance with this shotgun so that's always good I've got full money as well which is which you'll see has become quite a common thing in this I, was, I seem to have full money the whole way through this uh, so you know, if I do, if obviously the team needs money, I can always drop cash, which is always a, a benefit. So Wilson finished that challenge there. Uh, like I said, not much more, not much point in me carrying on really with that because obviously I'm, we're, we're using shotguns. He was using an assault rifle, but he got that challenge done there. So this is kill ten aliens in thirty seconds. Now this is deceptively annoying sometimes. It is, you know, it is easy, but you know. Sometimes it can be annoying if you just can't find the aliens. If aliens don't spawn quick and you get a lot of scorpions and, and stuff like that, then it can be annoying. Well, that was done quite easily. We did that. Now we're in the next area. Don't bleed out before the hive is destroyed. This one's obviously, you get to see a full sort of hive this time. So what I'm just going to do here is just hover around here for a little bit. I'll, I'll probably get an IMS down shortly. Uh, I'll put these claymores down. So complete waste of a claymore there, but oh well. Just running around, just just trying to wait for him really. There's a couple of traps you can put on around here. I think Wilson's already putting them on at the minute. But I'll start putting them on shortly and show you where they are. <coughs> so I'll stock up on ammo in a sec, put my IMS down. 
the lioness hasn't got much of an upgrade on it yet i mean i think i've started putting some on it but the main focus was the team booster so you saw the trap there if you just saw on the left hand side just in front of me now on the right you can see the trap just there and there's another one the other side as well having them on at all times really really helps in this especially later on pick up these claymores see what i can do with these put them down there ammo. Okay, these guys have anything. Let's suck on that. So it's really quite easy to be honest with these shotguns. It's not nothing too difficult. <coughs> nothing too difficult at all. You know, the, the biggest enemy you've got here is the space and if you get yourself caught up, if you're running around up these stairs and stuff and you get yourself trapped, that can cause big problems. But, you know, I don't know my way around this like the back of my hand by any stretch of this. is probably the second or third time I've played Nightfall. So I don't know it too well. You've just got to obviously just make sure there's always a way out from where you're running. Don't sort of sit yourself in a corner. Let's pick up body armor. Some spit coming in. I think I've actually got the medic upgrade now, guys, as well, so I don't take damage from the gas clouds. So that's a big bonus. And it's a luxury you don't tend to have because we normally play with relics. So, you know, I'm not normally used to having it, so it's quite nice to be able to run through gas clouds because they do take a lot more damage than you'd expect, especially on a level like this where there's a bunch of scorpions up high and they can just shower down on you. You, you know, it takes you a while to kill them sometimes if you're using a shotgun because you've got to run all the way up the scaffolding and shoot them. And sometimes when you get up there, they jump away. So you've just got to, you know, just sort of play it smart and just take out as many as you can, keep the numbers down, and you should be all right. So that trap just got put on there. Beat me to it. If this trap needs putting on, no. and this is nearly done anyway, as you can see, you know, hardly any aliens are coming now, just a few scragglers. Oh, we jumped up, <coughs> get some armor here. No, like, like I say, it's not too difficult at all. This area, it's the, the first area of this, is probably the most difficult part, especially on hardcore. Uh, this area, you know, it's it's quite easy. There's plenty of space to run around in, in, in the bottom area, as long as you don't start heading up the stairs and stuff. You know, if you just run around here, you should be fine. You know, that's what you got to do. So I can put a trap on there, and you can see that trap comes really, really effective later on. So that's that challenge done. So the next one don't allow the drill health to go below 50% now this is one of them where it shouldn't really ha be happening anyway your, your drill health shouldn't be going below 50 anyway so it shouldn't be too hard so, but all you, what you want to do is just make sure you've got an IMS on it at all times uh, which there is I've already put an IMS on that there and you know once that goes down someone else can replace it or you can replace it and it really it's not going to be too difficult <coughs> it's another full hive as well that you're going to get to see so, you know, just to show you how we sort of go about it. Now, because I've got the IMS up there, I don't need to stay up there with it. There's a load of aliens coming from this area, so if I stay over here, it's going to keep them over this side. Can't carry any more money, which is a bummer. And there isn't a lot I can really throw down. My ammo is at 1, my IMS is already down, and we've already got team boosters, so there isn't much I can really throw down, um, other than just throwing down the actual cash, which, which the team doesn't need either. <laughs> So, just a lot of cash here. Just taking out these guys. And there are these phantoms. It can be quite annoying, these phantoms, especially how they just disappear like that. That's another good reason to have the traps on, because, you know, sometimes they jump into the traps. I'm just getting 200, 500, and I'm, I'm not even doing anything, as you can see. The traps are just killing them. Uh, and I still don't quite understand why, with the engineer, uh, class that you know spending like two or three points on it and you know it, it says that traps earn your cash back but traps seem to earn your cash back anyway so I don't really understand that uh, that skill and that, that upgrade I don't really understand that whether it's more cash you get back or whatever I'm not quite sure but you know the traps already do earn you the cash back and I think the trap costs about 750 you need to kill about three or four aliens with the trap to get your money back so it's well worth it you know, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get that all, at all the time. At all times, should I say. Um, 
So just check in on the drill, put another IMS down, pick up feral. And like I say, these IMSs, I've said in previous videos, the, the most effective uh, score streak or kill streak or whatever you want to call them, they're the most successful one in my opinion because you can just leave it on the drill, let it do the work. It's not like the vulture which you pull out and it's just killing the ones that are around you anyway because I don't find that a great great use to be honest, maybe on chaos mode but not on this. Uh, with the IMS you can leave it and they do the work. The sentry gun, sentry guns are good but they uh, they can get taken out so easily, you know once you, once you, it's shooting it gets one on its back and then it just gets destroyed, you can't leave a sentry gun on its own you know with any sort of confidence, the only thing you can leave on its own with any confidence is the IMS which is why I like it. You don't have to sort of sit around the drill or sit around the target. You can just run away and, and just like do its work. So, you know, just shooting these guys. Getting these done. Not far off now. And that's it. Another easy one. So, let's see what we got next. The next one might be the LMG one. Let's get these done. Putting these traps on. Say so Wilson's just going down here with the drill. Um, so as you can see, that's how my uh, skill points are set out there. I've got full team boosters, my medics up, and my uh, IMS done a few times. Kill eight seekers before they self destroyed. Now this one's probably the easiest one. I don't even know if I get a chance to kill any. Cause it's so easy. You know, as long as you're running about, you you you, you know you, you at this point you're going to have an upgraded weapon or you know at least a half decent weapon at this point, maybe from a locker or whatever. You know you're definitely going to be killing them, and even the traps will kill them as well. So throw down some ammo there, um, and the fact that it's only like eight as well. I mean, it's so so easy. Maybe if it was like twenty or something, and they did a lot more, maybe that would be a challenge, but. Okay, this one takes us a bit longer than usual, this one. Uh, kill the scorpion with melee damage. Now, because there's so many high places, you can't necessarily guarantee you're just going to stumble across a scorpion. So what we've done is uh, what we just leave it, try and get some to come down to us. Try and just get the, the scorpions jump down to like onto these boxes or whatever. But it sort of gets to the point where we're thinking, right, they're not jumping down, so we'll just have to run up and get them. So that was basically the, the reasoning why we're just standing down here for such a long time. Um, there is such a, a long time for the drill to get to do its job as well, so you know we're not short for time. So you know you can sort of afford to wait for a while. What you don't want to do though is wait for too long and then struggle like hell to find the scorpion. So just picking up the feral there. The feral should help. Or I didn't pick up the feral there. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't pick up the feral there. So I need to run around pick that up. Feral obviously would help a lot. Getting the uh, getting the old pistol out. Now I don't understand why I haven't picked that feral up. Watching this back, I have no idea why I'm not picking that feral instinct. So I'm a complete idiot for not picking that up. Okay, now I've got it. There we go. Don't know why I wasn't picking that up before. That should have been picked up about a minute ago, but it doesn't matter. So, right, I think what we do now, I think this is the point where we say, right, we're just going to have to go up and find one. So I'm coming up, running about, get up on these top ledges. A few hunters up here, and now, you know, when we're looking on these, this feral, it's hard to sort of tell, you can't find them. So, there's one behind me now with a tail. You can sort of tell by the tails on them, it's just down there. But, uh, as you say, Wilson got that. Wilson picked up that kill. This one is the LMGs. You know, um, we didn't end up doing this one because we couldn't find the LMG. We couldn't find one to use. Uh, Wilson thought that you know the LMGs and the chainsaw were in the in the area before, and you know we just ended up leaving this one, which is a shame really. So there's no point in showing the whole thing, but. You know, it is a shame that we couldn't find the LMG because we would have got all the challenges done, which would have been a real, real shame. Uh, which would have been really good. So it's a real, real shame that we didn't, we didn't find the LMG or whatever. 
you know, we didn't even get one in a lock or anything like that, so we could have just used that. It's, uh, it's really quite annoying, but we've already got the completionist from a video before, and this is as good as the completionist, because we've done all the main challenges, and it's just the LMG one, which decides to be a bum hole. But, oh well, it happens. So that's that, and I'll skip on now to the next one. Uh, so the next is obviously the breeder. Get teleported to the breeder now. This I've only ever done. I've, all the times I've played Nightfall, we've we seem to have completed it, and each time I do the same thing. Now Wilson and Campbell are up there close, shooting him. Now what I do is just try and get myself set up. So I set myself up behind this car, and uh, normally I put myself an IMS down, keep myself. Uh, Protected, and I'll throw down all my upgrades here for the team. Let them pick up from here. So, I'm going to come across here to get some stuff. Like the armor and stuff like that. Oh, wow. It's close. Yeah, that machine gun that he does. I come over there to get armor and then <laughs> lost lost all the armor and then some. So, bit of a stupid, bit, bit of a stupid call, really, that was. But as long as I get the NIMS down or whatever. And the IMS is just behind me there. This uh, soft lamp is doing absolutely nothing, which I don't understand why it's doing absolutely nothing, to be honest, because it's basically a missile launcher. <laughs> so, who knows, shotgun bullets to its face help, but, you know, a rocket doesn't. So I don't really get the logic. But either way, it's going down quite fast. Not as fast as we like to, but it's going down reasonably fast. The Campbell gets kicked in a minute, but he's alright. So he's doing that machine gun fire, it's really annoying that is. It's, it does so much damage to you as well. So you can move forward now, get some shots on him. And just run back. I, I haven't really got the weapon to sort of stand here and shoot at, shoot at him. I'd like to have had like a, an LMG or an assault rifle if I had a choice, but I so we're just doing this. But it's good when you can get up close with this because you know you see how much damage we're doing. Just getting up close and doing this. Yeah, just run back to the car. Whoa, plenty of aliens back here. And they've just got cleaned up. We've got IMSs down here as well. So this is like our safe area, really. The breed has disappeared at this point. It goes off for a short while. And, you know, just leaves you to your own devices. You go around killing the, killing the, what I'd call ads, killing the, the rhinos and whatever. And, like I say, it's just a waiting game now, really. In a minute we'll have to go around killing the pods and, and all that. Campbell and Wilson do that, I stay here and just protect this sort of area as a, as a last resort really. But the, you know, they've done this this level much more than I have, in all fairness. I'm, uh, I'm more of the newbie one of the group in the, uh, on this stage. So I just sort of tend to just go along with it and just stay alive killing aliens and, and do it like that. You know, Wilson's played this level you know, a lot many many more times than me, and so was Campbell. So, I think the first ever video we did of Ghost was Campbell killing the breeder. Uh, not the first ever video of Ghost, sorry. Our first um, run of Nightfall was Campbell playing solo and just uh, killing the killing the breeder. So, you know, they've had at least a couple more months' experience on this map. So again, the aliens there. See, the way I'm doing is playing this really cautiously, and I just don't want to get caught out and get put down, and then have them have to try and get me up, get me up, and then end going down trying to get me up or something. I just don't want that to happen. So I'm just staying here, playing it safe. He's still going down. Once he once he drops to the floor, I'll run in and do some shotgun damage to him. These these hunters are really annoying. You want to make sure you got this IMS up. There we go. So the breeder is down, so we've run in, get some shots on him. That should be it now. Oh, not far off. Oh, that's it now, he's got to be done. He's got to be done soon. Okay, just run around here. Okay, that was a... That was a meteor. But we're all good, he's so close to, he's so close to dying now, it's, uh, it's not even funny. Just run forward now, finish him off. Been saying finish him off for 10 minutes. He's been on like a millimeter health, but I'm getting it. Here we go. Oh, that's it. That's the boss done, guys. So, 
Like I say, I hope this video helped in some way, you know, help you do the challenges or whatever. But either way, we did it. The next one's going to be Mayday from the Devastation map pack. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.